Unit 4, Lesson 13, Rectangles with Fractional Side Lengths. Number 1. Find the unknown side length of the rectangle if its area is 11 meters squared. Show your reasoning. 11 divided by 3 and 2 thirds is the same as 11 divided by 11 thirds and 11 times 3 elevenths. 11 times 3 elevenths is 33 elevenths or 3. The missing side length is 3 meters. B. Check your answer by multiplying it by the given side length, 3 and 2 thirds. Is the resulting product 11? If not, revisit your work for the first question. 3 times 3 and 2 thirds is the same as 3 times 11 thirds, and that equals 33 thirds. And 33 thirds, or 33 divided by 3, equals 11. So yes, the product is 11. Number 2. A worker is tiling the floor of a rectangular room that is 12 feet by 15 feet. The tiles are square with side lengths of 1 and 1 third feet. How many tiles are needed to cover the entire floor? Show your reasoning. 12 feet times 15 feet equals 180 feet squared. The area of the tile is 16 ninths. So 180 divided by 16 ninths or 180 over 1 divided by 16 ninths equals 180 times 9 sixteenths or 45 times 9 fourths which equals 101 and 1 fourth. You would need 102 tiles or exactly 101 and 1 fourth tiles to cover the floor. Number 3 a television screen has a length of 16 and 1 half inches width W inches and area 462 square inches. Select all equations that represent the relationship of the side lengths and the area of the television. We'll be looking for a width times length equals area, a length times width equals area, or area divided by width equals length, and area divided by length equals width. Number four. The area of a rectangle is 17 and a half inches squared, and its shorter side is three and a half inches. Draw a diagram that shows this information. What is the length of the longer side? Inside represents the area, 17 and a half inches squared. Its shorter side is three and a half inches. 17 and a half divided by three and a half is the same as 35 halves divided by seven halves, and that equals five. That was easy to do because the common denominators were the same. Both fractions had a 2 at the bottom. So 35 divided by 7 is 5. Or we could have done 35 halves times 2 over 7, which is also equal to 5. The longer side length is 5 inches. Number 5. A bookshelf is 42 inches long. A. How many books of length 1 and a half inches will fit on the bookshelf? Explain your reasoning. This represents the length of a 42 inch bookshelf. On the top, I have one and a half inch long books times what number equals 42 inches or 42 inches divided by one and a half inch long books equals what number? The easiest one would be 42 divided by three halves equals, that would be the same as 42 times two thirds equals 84 thirds. And of course, 84 thirds is the same as 84 divided by 3, which is 28. 28 books would fit on the bookshelf. B. A bookcase has five of these bookshelves. How many feet of shelf space is there? Explain your reasoning. 42 inches equals how many feet? 42 inches divided by 12 inches, since there's 12 inches in one foot. That gives me three and a half feet. The bookshelf's length is three and a half feet. Now multiply three and a half feet times five. That's the same as multiplying seven halves times five. Seven halves times five is 35 halves, which is the same as 35 divided by two. And 35 divided by two equals 17 and a half. Five bookshelves would have 17 and a half feet of shelf space.
Number six, find the value of 5 over 32 divided by 25 over 4. Show your reasoning. 5 over 32 divided by 25 over 4 is the same as 5 over 32 times 4 over 25. Now I notice that this can be simplified. 5 divided by 5 is 1 and 25 divided by 5 is 5. 4 divided by 4 is 1 and 32 divided by 4 is 8. Now multiply straight across. 1 times 1 is 1. 8 times 5 is 40. The value of 5 over 32 divided by 25 fourths is 1 40th. Number 7. How many groups of 1 and 2 thirds are in each of the following quantities? A. 1 and 5 6. That would be 1 and 5 6 divided by 1 and 2 thirds equals what number? I can rewrite that as 11 sixths divided by 5 thirds equals what number? 11 sixths divided by 5 thirds is the same as 11 sixths times 3 fifths. Again, I can simplify. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Multiply straight across. 11 times 1 is 11. 2 times 5 is 10, which equals 11 tenths or 1 and 1 tenth. 1 and 2 thirds goes into 1 and 5 sixths, exactly 1 and 1 tenths times. B. How many groups of 1 and 2 thirds are in 4 and 1 third? 4 and 1 third divided by 1 and 2 thirds equals what number? That's the same as 13 thirds divided by 5 thirds. 13 thirds divided by 5 thirds can be rewritten as 13 thirds times 3 fifths. Again here, I notice I can simplify. 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 3 divided by 3 is 1. 13 times 1 is 13, and 1 times 5 is 5, so I get 13 fifths. And as you know, 13 fifths is the same as 13 divided by 5, which equals 2 and 3 fifths. 1 and 2 thirds goes in 4 and 1 third exactly 2 and 3 fifths times. C. How many groups of 1 and 2 thirds are in 5 sixths? 5 sixths divided by 1 and 2 thirds equals what number? That could be rewritten as 5 sixths divided by 5 thirds, which is the same as 5 sixths times 3 fifths. I can simplify. 3 goes into 3 once. 3 goes into 6 twice. 5 goes into 5 once. 5 goes into 5 once. Now I multiply straight across. 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, and that equals 1 half. 1 and 2 thirds goes in 5 6 exactly 1 half times, or just halfway. Number 8. It takes 1 and 1 fourth minutes to fill a 3 gallon bucket of water with a hose. At this rate, how long does it take to fill a 50 gallon tub? If you get stuck, consider using the table. There's a lot of ways to do this problem, but I decided to convert the minutes into seconds. So one minute equals 60 seconds, and the one fourth of a minute equals 15 seconds. So my conversion tells me that one and one fourth minute equals 75 seconds. Now I've rewritten the information to help me answer the question. It takes 75 seconds to fill three gallons. I've decided to make a table. On the left column, it shows seconds. On the right column, it shows gallons. Right now it shows that it takes 75 seconds to fill up three gallons. What I'd like to do is figure out how many seconds it would take to fill up one gallon. So three gallons divided by three equals one. Since I've made the right hand column three times smaller, I'll also have to make the left hand column three times smaller. 75 divided by three is 25. Now I know that it takes 25 seconds to fill one gallon. They ask the question, how much time does it take to fill 50 gallons? So I need to make sure that this number on the right hand column is a 50. I'm able to multiply the one times 50 to make 50. And now I need to do the same thing on the left hand side. 25 times 50 gives me 1,250. We're not done yet, but we do know that to fill 50 gallons, it's gonna take 1,250 seconds. Since the question asked how many minutes, we need to change the seconds back to minutes. 
Since there are 60 seconds in a minute, we will find out how many groups of 60 are in 1,250. 1,250 divided by 60, which equals, in decimal value, 20 and 83 hundredths, with the 3 repeating, or as a fraction, 125 sixths. At this rate, it will take 20 and 83 hundredths minutes to fill a 50 gallon tub. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 4, Lesson 13, Rectangles with Fractional Side Lengths. Thank you.